In the previous lessons, we covered the basic major and minor triads, and we expanded them into four note chords. In this final instalment, we'll be covering tension notes, also known as extensions. I'm not going to cover the tensions for the minor 7 flat 5 or minor major 7 chords in this lesson. Once you understand the process, you'll be able to work those out on your own. Tensions, or extensions, are simply an extension of a chord. They are not a part of the basic construction of the chord, but serve to add an additional colour or flavour. We can have both major or diatonic tensions, and altered or non-diatonic tensions. When a tension appears on a chord symbol, unless modified otherwise, by default it will be major or diatonic. A chord symbol can have anywhere from zero to four tensions, depending on how frisky the composer is. Here we have a C major 7 chord. It's constructed using a series of stacked thirds in the key of C major. The chord tones are represented by numbers ranging from 1 to 7. For this example, 1, 3, 5 and 7 represent the root, major 3rd, perfect 5th and major 7th. The thirds above the chord are the tensions, which are represented by numbers ranging from 9 to 13. But why 9 to 13? Why not simply 2 to 6? Well, we use these higher numbers to create a clear distinction between the chord tones and the tensions of the chord. Many pop music charts feature suspended chords, like E sus4 or G sus4. In this instance, the 4 is really a chord tone, as it is expressed as a 4 and not as an 11. In addition to the major 7 chord, we use these numbers for the other tetrachords previously discussed. We'll start with the major 7 chord. The tensions available are the 9, sharp 11, and 13. These are often referred to as major or diatonic tensions. You're probably asking why the 11 is sharpened. Well, if we use an F natural, it would create a minor 9 rub with a major 3rd, and a simultaneous tritone rub with the major 7. These rubs by themselves are okay, but not on a major 7 chord. We will see later in the video that both of these rubs can coexist on the dominant 7th chord. Have a listen to these examples. The minor 7 chord is very similar. The available tensions are the 9, 11 and 13. Since the minor 7 chord has a minor 3rd, there is no need to sharpen the 11. Minor 7 chords can be a bit tricky, as there are three possible chord scales available, Dorian, Phrygian and Aeolian. However, in jazz music, 9 times out of 10, you will be using Dorian for minor 7 chords. Have a listen to these examples.
Finally, we'll look at dominant seventh chords. These are the most interesting, as they can utilize both natural tensions, altered tensions, or a combination of the two. As you can imagine, this can result in some very rich sounds. First things first, the natural E11 is out. This note clashes with the major third, which is not a desired sound. So therefore, we must sharpen the 11 if we want to use it. Have a listen to these examples. That's all we have time for in this lesson. I hope you enjoyed this series. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, as always, please feel free to leave me a comment. Until the next lesson, take care.